do hopefully for you. So this one is about my mother, all the world and wonderful wisdoms my mother tried to bestow on me over the years. And um, there's a reason I'm reading it to you, so I, and I'll mention that at the end. It's called Mummisms. <clears throat> you often told me to never judge a book by its cover. You might not know the half of it and the story inside distinguishes the fighter from the lover. You were quick to remind me to judge people by their acts of kindness so I could relinquish all rights to those with a selfish kind of blindness. You were adamant for me to always be myself, even if it meant being left on the shelf by men who are more selfish than women, you'd say, and those with hearts on sleeves usually pay. Men don't suffer from piles, you'd joke, because when God created man, he created the perfect arsehole. So see, <laughs> my dear mother, yeah. so see, pass the stars in your eyes, check their bankroll, avoid the ones who want to control, and find someone who's an equal. They'll cherish you and make you whole. Make sure they don't mind putting on a pair of marigolds. Now, don't go giving your cake away to any Tom, Dick or Harry and don't think a girl's role in life is only to have kids and marry. Be a woman who endlessly strives for her goals and don't be coerced into quenching that unquenchable thirst. Immerse yourself amongst the diverse thirst of the many, not the few. Often those with indignant eyes are less likely to screw you over in life. It's hard being poor, but money, it doesn't breed happiness, it gives you choice. And often those without it have to shout with a louder voice, so mean what you say. And don't be mean when you say it. Be the maker of your own merit. And you know, when you're down on luck and low on bread, keep your head and remember that money, it doesn't guarantee life's riches. There'll be hitches and bitches and glitches and snitches, and you'll likely need many a stitches. But switch it and let it be a marker of what never to be. Often pain helps us read and truly see. <coughs> So make sure you run with that resourceful code and you use what that East End jungle bestowed. I'll be rooting for you with all that we sowed. And when you hit that ceiling made of glass, remember you can't buy drive and you can't buy class. If people make assumptions, they're the arse. When you think you've got it hard, know that people have it harder. But if you knuckle down, worship that library card and do your best, they won't only judge you by the size of your breasts. You'll be able to fly from this struggling nest, my girl, knowing you are more than enough. And you'll break free from the piss poor handcuffs. Maggie, she may have given us our right to buy and blare your right to an education, but be your own blurred class creation and defy anyone who tells you you can't because you really, really can. Thank you very much. Woo!